Hi everybody, Sensei Lawrence here at Kaiser No Karate Martial Arts School. Thanks for watching today's video. Today we're going to cover sparring combination number eight, which is the third combination in our advanced sparring combinations list. Okay, on our channel already, you know this, we've got sparring combination number one, two, three, four, five, already uploaded. Those are our beginner combinations. This is number eight out of ten, so it's our third advanced combination. Now I like number eight. Number eight runs quite smoothly, it's, um, it's very slick, I like how this one works. But it will take a little bit of practice to get used to this, and if you are looking to build this into your sparring drills in lesson, you will need to practice this quite a few times just to make sure it runs smoothly. So let's get started. Now we're going to start obviously with our left leg forward here. Number eight, we move forward here, we're going to do a slight slide forward to do a face punch. We're going to turn and do a back kick. We then land, do a back fist with the leading arm, then reverse punch. Okay, notice how we finish on the other side, so on the next combination in drills we would start on that right side. Forward, face punch, turn, look, back kick, land, back fist, reverse punch. Let's break this down a little bit then. So, the first move here, this face punch, as we move forward to this leading arm face punch, notice how my body starts to turn a little bit already. We're not going to move forward and do this. Okay, we're going to move forward slightly around so we can start the turn already for this. So we can look, drive this leg straight back, and back kick, land, back fist, reverse punch. Now, we usually say in lessons, don't turn your back on your partner in sparring, okay? That is important. Well, this combination does turn your back on your partner. Now, the reason for that is that this runs very smoothly and fast. This is a quick combination. You will not be facing away from your partner for ages, facing this direction. No. This is a quick turn, okay? So, let's watch this from one side, watch from the other side as well, just so you can see how this one works. And then I'll talk about a couple of things that we'd be looking for as instructors and what the grading panel will be looking for in a grading as well, okay? So, number one here, let's make sure that we slide forward to get that turn going here, face punch, turn, drive the back kick, snap it back, back fist reverse punch. Bring from this side, hopefully, maybe you can see it a little bit better on this side down here. So we move forward a bit more, we can go here now, slide forward, face punch, turn, look, back kick, land, back fist reverse punch. So things that we're looking for as instructors and what the grading panel would be wanting to see of this combination as well. Number one, don't throw away this technique. This is such an important technique. If you've watched our video for sparring combination number seven, you'll know all about that. It's so important that we make sure that front arm is being used properly. Okay? It could be used as a proper technique to land, to get a strike. It could be just used as that fade to disguise the fact that you're going to spin and do a back kick. Don't throw it away. Next, back kick. You have to look. Just like in pad work, if you don't look where you're doing your technique, if you don't look where you are kicking, chances are you might miss the pad, you might miss the opponent, you might actually hit somebody and hurt them, you might cause injuries. You've got to make sure you look where you're going. So as we do this turn here, notice the head here. We've got to look over the shoulder of the side we're going to kick with. Other than that, make sure we get a good back fist here, make sure it doesn't look like a face punch. It is definitely coming out and back, and that reverse punch coming through at the end. That's about everything for this one, guys. So make sure you practice this one. Again, this is supposed to be fast. This runs very smoothly, so let's make sure we practice it and drill it to make it easy. Okay? Great. As always, if you've got any questions, please speak to us in lessons next time you are here, or you can just leave a comment down below in the comments box and uh, we'll be ha happy to help. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you soon. Let's do a bow. Us.